What's up guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials and today I'm reviewing the Elephone S2 Plus. And why the S2 Plus and not the regular S2 Plus? Well, that's a personal preference first of all, but secondly, because it has a bigger screen, 5.5 inch, just like the iPhone 6, and it has a bigger battery capacity, 500 milliamps more than the S2. So that will, might give you a little more battery time, something I will actually test in another review. And to give you a comparison, the iPhone 6 has 800 milliamps battery less. So let's get to it. First of all, I'd like to talk about the design, the look and the feel, then go over the camera, and finally the performance. So let's get to it and check out the design. All right, so let's take a look at the design of the S2 Plus. The first thing you notice when you pick up the phone is that both the front and the back panel are made out of hard tempered glass. The frame and the buttons of the phone are made out of aluminum alloy and have these chiseled edges that really give it a premium look and feel. Now what I do like about the frame is that it actually doesn't go all the way through to the bottom, which makes that the bottom has this minimalistic look with only one micro USB port in the middle. The front of the phone has three touch buttons as the front facing camera, a small speaker for making phone calls and the light sensor to adjust the brightness. The back panel has the 13 megapixel camera, has the LED lights and the logo and of course the main speakers. The top of the phone has the headphone jack. This on the side, you have the volume and the power button and all in all, it really looks like a beautiful Oh, so how about the camera? Well, let's take a look at a few pictures to see how the camera performs. All right, so let's start with the front facing camera and what better way than with a few selfies. So the first two selfies weren't taken with the best lighting possible, but the next one is in front of the window and the lighting is a bit better. Now this one, as you can see, is taken from through the window so we have a bit of a reflection on top and as you can see that the sky is a bit burnt to white so I decided to turn on my HDR and that's the result so that's pretty cool I mean the HDR seems to be working quite fine we have a bit more reflection of course um, if, if you look at this uh, at the sky at the clouds and next is a picture of a painting with a few colors to capture the reds of the cushions. And now outside, this is without HDR and this is with HDR. Without HDR and with HDR. Without HDR and with HDR again. And this is inside with low lighting and focusing on a quite a brighter spot so I must say that's pretty pretty good and let's take a look at some videos now right so this is a video sample what you can see here is that we have a bit of clouds so we're going on some cloudy daylight and of course over there we have the Sun coming out and I must say it adapts really nicely to the light changes colors are quite accurate I must say and while we're taking a video we can still take pictures all right so let's take a look at the performance of the s2 plus now I'm not going to show you guys any benchmark results because what I'm looking for is fluidity and responsiveness so of course numbers can confirm it but I rather show you that it's fluid and responsive and as you can see it really is it's running on Android 5.1 so you have that going for you uh, as you can see the icons have animations which is a new feature and if we go to for example our messages let's delete that I'm using Swift key which is a keyboard that requires a bit more performance so as you can see it works perfectly uh, let's let's just write something I'm happy and enjoying my new phone so as you can see, it works perfectly. It's very responsive. It doesn't have any lag whatsoever. But of course, talking about lag, let's check out Need for Speed 
most wanted. And this is a performance heavy game. Let's see how it performs on the S2 Plus. And as you can see, it works perfectly, no lag. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but the colors on the phone are really nice, really vibrant, very clear. It's a HD ready display, but it really feels like a full HD premium display. I mean, it's amazing. So let's get out of this game real quickly. And there you go. That's also very responsive. Let's go to our gallery, which is something I find quite often not such pleasant experience because the, the pictures take quite some time to load. But you don't have that in the in the S2 Plus. It's very fast, fluid. And let's open up a picture, for example. The auto rotation works very fine. It's very fast, fluid. Just what you would be looking for in a phone. So I mean, this is this is very very fast. As you can see, everything works perfect. Uh, oh, well, cool. Okay. You can you can scroll through your pictures like this. Let's zoom in. That works very quickly as well so all in all a very responsive and fluid phone just what you actually expect from a premium phone you can find in the s2 plus which actually i would call a premium phone for a non-premium price all right so let's take a look at the summer so to summarize the s2 plus what you get when you buy the phone is a charger, a micro USB, and two protective film foils for both the front and the back panel. Now the S2 Plus is 6.9 millimeters thick, which is 0.1 millimeter thicker than the regular S2. But with that comes a battery that is 500 milliamps bigger. So the regular S2 has a 2100 milliamps battery, and the S2 Plus has a 2600 milliamps battery. Now the higher the number, the longer the battery life. The operating system is Android 5.1, so you get a very smooth and updated feel. The rear camera has 13 megapixels and the front camera is 2 megapixels. Now, for connectivity, you have dual SIM, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.0. Of course, not to forget, it has a really good GPS signal. So, what's my opinion? Well, let's take a look. So, my opinion about the S2 Plus, well, if you want to make someone happy with a new phone, but you don't want to spend too much money, this is really a gem. It looks beautiful, it works perfect, it takes decent pictures, it has a long battery life, and honestly, for the price that you pay, you get a really premium phone. I would definitely be happy if someone bought me this phone, or just if I needed a new phone and I simply bought this one. I wouldn't be disappointed, really. I would recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please like and subscribe and see you guys next time.